bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carol singin', favorite season. Sleigh bells ringin', diamonds blingin', carol singin', favorite season. They said, say Nick, but you gotta be in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah. They said, say Nick, but you gotta be in that bag, yeah. Racks in my sack, hurt my back. Yeah. I'm frozen, neck is frozen. Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', Carol singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', Carol singing. Racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah Dasha, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the cheese, bring the cheese Put the lights up Tis the season Need no Grinch tights No Ebenezer Don't believe this Y'all need Jesus Sleigh bells ringing Diamonds blingin' Carol singing Favorite season Sleigh bells ringing Diamonds blingin' Carol singing Favorite season They said, say Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back Merry Christmas, everybody Christmas, everyone. Merry Vlogmas. 
There we go, it's Vlogmas Day. It's Christmas Day. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice, but my voice has been a bit weird uh, at the minute, so it's probably just because I've not long woke up. Uh, but it is Monday the 25th of December 2023. It is Christmas Day 2023. I have not long woke up. It is 5 to 8 on this Christmas Day morning and as you can tell I'm wearing my Christmas hat already uh, to be fair I did end up going to bed around about half past one this morning um, I ended up catching up on last night's Christmas special of uh, not going out which was on uh, BBC one so I caught up on that uh, on iPlayer before I went off to bed and then I stuck a Christmas movie on as well which ended up falling asleep to, which was the Polar Express. It's one of my. Fa it is up there as one of my favourite annual Christmas wa uh, movie watches to watch at Christmas, uh, alongside Gremlins as well. Gremlins, by the way, is probably my most favourite Christmas movie of all time because I love Gremlins so much, and I've not yet watched it yet. So hopefully, either today or tomorrow, I'll be able to watch that. But uh, ever since I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. I've been watching the movie Last Christmas again, another new classic Christmas movie uh, that I love to watch every year. It came out way back in 2019 and I'm currently watching that right now on my tablet through Amazon Prime Video. It's a movie actually I purchased um, earlier this month, like at the beginning of December when I purchased a couple of Christmas movies. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd jump on, say Merry Christmas to you all to start off this vlogmas video. I hope you guys have had a wonderful and fantastic day spent with loved ones, whether it's friends, family, um, whatever, the, whatever it is. I hope you guys have had an amazing day and I hope you guys enjoy what's to come in this episode of Vlogmas. Not only am I vlogging today, Christmas Day, but I'm also going to be vlogging Boxing Day in this video for you guys as well. Right now though... I'm going to take my Christmas hat off. I'm going to jump into the bathroom with some clothes and um, and have a shower, get dressed and get my day started. Christmas Day morning. I've got my Santa's hat back on. I've got dressed after having a shower as well. And I've just finished watching Last Christmas as well. So I'm going to move on and watch my favourite holiday movie, which is Gremlin. So I'm going to watch that right now on Amazon Prime Video. Christmas Day afternoon, Monday afternoon, and I'm currently taking Simba here for his afternoon walk. And as soon as I get back home, we're going to be opening up our Christmas Day presents that are under the tree. And it is Christmas Day night. My sister has now gone home because she came over for the day uh, to have some Christmas lunch with us over at the Toby Carvery. Uh, and we've also had a little bit of time as well spent uh, with my sister's boyfriend as well, which was very, very lovely. And uh, also as well, can I just say that we have opened... Uh, under the tree presents and we even had a surprise um, in store as well me and my sister as Santa um, had delivered some presents and was hidden in our house and we didn't even know uh, so yeah so that was really really awesome I am going to be going through um, the presents I did get this year from both my mum and my sister as well for Christmas. So I am really looking forward to showing you guys what I got uh, for Christmas. I'm going to do that a little bit later on uh, in this episode of the Vlogmas slash Boxing Day video. Uh, so you can see that very shortly. But what I can say though is I'm really, really appreciative of all the gifts that I have got. Um, and also as well, I just want to point out that this isn't me bragging. This isn't me showing off. This is just me showing you guys genuinely how much I appreciate the gifts that I have been given from family members this year at Christmas and also as well. Um, I just want to show you guys how much I love them as well. But um, yeah, like I say, this isn't something that I'm bragging about or, you know, or trying to show off or anything like that. It's just me showing you guys what I got for Christmas because honestly, I really do appreciate the gifts that I have been given this year. Um, but I will show you them 
very shortly in this vlog. Um, all I can say for now is most of the gifts that I have got this year are freaking awesome. I nearly swore, but I, I kind of held myself back from swearing. Um, so, but yeah, no, in all seriousness, so they are freaking awesome, and I really can't wait to show you guys a little bit later on in the Vlogmas video. So not only is Christmas Day my favourite uh, time of the year where I get to spend time with my family and stuff like that and have a good laugh with them, but also as well, the good thing about Christmas Day is the evening when there's lots of things on the TV and you have to catch up at some point, you know, oh, I missed this, oh, I missed that. Turns out I'm going to have to catch up on a few things. Doctor Who, at the time of recording this part of the Vlogmas, is currently on right now. Um, and I've basically missed the episode. However, though, I'm going to watch it um, just after I finish watching tonight's episode of Coronation Street, which is only a, uh, which is only half an hour long. It's not an hour long, it's half an hour long. So I'm going to watch that uh, tonight, um, Doctor Who. I'm going to watch it straight after Coronation Street. So Coronation Street comes first. Doctor Who second, and then uh, what's the next thing I was going to watch? Uh, two episodes of What If on Disney Plus, because uh, every day since December 22nd right up until December 30th, they've got a brand new episode of What If on Disney Plus by Marvel Studios, and obviously this is Series 2. So I didn't watch Christmas Eve's episode, and I haven't watched today's episode yet. So I'm going to watch those episodes straight after Doctor Who. Um, and then after What If, it will be time for EastEnders, an hour-long EastEnders. Ten months, 307 days since we had that flash-forward episode where we had six women in Albert Square looking over... A mysterious dead body. We don't know who murdered the person in question. All we know is it's a male victim. There's seven um, victims at risk. There's Jack Branning, um, Nish Panisar, uh, Ravi Galati, um, um, Keanu Taylor, Phil Mitchell. Um, who's the other two? Rocky Cotton and uh, Dean Dean Wicks as well. So, and the six women in Wolford that are looking over the dead body is Stacy Slater, Denise Fox, um, Linda Carter, uh, Suki Panisar, um, Sharon uh, Sharon Watts, and um, who's the other one? Uh, Kathy Bill. So yeah, so yeah, so six women, seven potential men, male uh, victims in the lineup. One of them will end up dead on the Queen Vic floor tonight. And tonight's the night we find out. Uh, so, yeah, so there, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of stoked for tonight and tomorrow's episode of EastEnders. Now, EastEnders would normally be on BBC iPlayer at 6 o'clock in the morning, so by now I would have watched the episode. But it's not on BBC iPlayer uh, it, this mo it wasn't on BBC iPlayer this morning, which means I have to wait until it's on TV at quarter to ten tonight to watch it along with everyone else at home. And then tomorrow morning, when I come home from work, because I'm working on Boxing Day tomorrow, I will be able to watch EastEnders straight away when I get home from work because uh, it'll be on BBC iPlayer. So I'm looking forward to that. So... Uh, and then straight after EastEnders, I'm going to watch Mrs. Brown's Boys, the Christmas special. I know, controversial. Some people like it. Some people hate it. It's like Marmite. I get it. But hey-ho. Um, but before I do watch any of those TV programs, okay, uh, I thought I'd very quickly show you this because it is Christmas Day. And uh, you know what? Seven hours ago, at the time of recording this part of the Vlogmas video, um, I got treated to a notification on my phone from YouTube. Um, and that is that my favourite YouTuber content creator in the form of Gabby has uploaded her Christmas Eve vlog from yesterday. So I'm going to unwrap that video. 
and I'm going to give it a watch uh, right now on this Christmas Day evening. That's the first thing I'm watching, by the way, uh, that I need to catch up on. Um, and then I'll crack on and watch all the other things that I've got left to watch. The things that I'm going to uh, miss out tonight, which I'm going to watch tomorrow, uh, is the 1% Club Christmas Special, the Masked Singer Christmas Special, and Michael McIntyre's The Will Christmas special. And then, of course, I've then got tomorrow's episode of What If to catch up on. And then, obviously, EastEnders as well. But for now, though, I'm going to go and unwrap Gabby's brand new video on her YouTube channel on this Christmas day. Hello, good morning, uh, or afternoon, actually, because it's the afternoon. It's Boxing Day. And and I'm currently out with Simba, taking him for his afternoon stroll. I have just got back from work as well, so nice and easy day at work today. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm up to right now on this Tuesday afternoon, Boxing Day afternoon. Okay, so it is Boxing Day uh, evening, and I have just spent the afternoon catching up on today's Dramatic episode of EastEnders following the aftermath of what happened on Christmas Day and uh, what else did I do? I also caught up on Marvel's What If. Uh, I've also caught up on Michael McIntyre's Christmas The Wheel as well. And also as well, I've watched uh, Gabby Thompson's uh, last Vlogmas video for 2023 where she celebrated Christmas Day with her family. Um, so... Yeah, so that is all I've been doing uh, pretty much for most of this afternoon. As you can see behind me, I am just about to do a little what I got for Christmas kind of th uh, thing for you guys as part of uh, this little video here. Um, but before I do though, you're probably wondering, I've been wearing a hat, haven't I, pretty much for most of um, the... Uh, most of this vlogmas video uh obviously on christmas day i was wearing a santa's hat and today i've worn my normal um beanie hat that i would normally be wearing mostly because i mostly because i've been outside and also because yesterday was christmas day and normally on christmas day i do tend to wear a, a santa's hat anyway but here we go are you ready three two one and woodoo yeah, that's right. I had a I had a haircut. Um, I had a haircut um, on Christmas Eve. So there, <laughs> there we go. So I have had my hair shaved. There we go. But um, I thought uh, I would show you guys um, some Christmas presents that I got for Christmas. Um, now. Just a quick disclaimer, like I said earlier in the in the vlog, okay, just a quick disclaimer here. Um, but I do want to say that this isn't me bragging or this isn't me showing off or anything like that. You know, it's just that I really do appreciate the Christmas gifts that I did get over Christmas uh, from my family members. And I just wanted to show you guys the gifts that they uh, very kindly gifted to me for Christmas. So... There is a lot for me to get through, I'm not going to lie, but I really do appreciate the gifts that I did get for Christmas uh, from both my mum and my sister. So let's start, I'm going to start with this right here. So uh, recently, I think I even vlogged this actually about a month or two ago, uh, but there was a new shop that opened not far from where I live uh, called Hotel Chocolat, and um, my mum got me a jolly penguin so and it's uh, uh unbelievably vegan as well so it's a vegan chocolate but there we go look it's a penguin shaped um chocolate um i also did get a uh quality street as well uh favorite chocolate bar so this is the purple one right here for quality streets um, I also did get, now my sister did get me this as well actually, before I do show you what's in the box, she also did get me uh, this wristband as well, which has been on my arm since it was put on like 24 hours ago. Um, but inside, it did come with what's inside this box right here, which I'm just about to open up and I am just about to show you guys. So here we go, this is a watch right here. 
uh, which my sister very kindly gave to me. So there we go. I'll stick that back in the watch. Now I'm gonna. I'm not gonna wear that to work, but I'm gonna wear it when I'm uh, like out and about, like maybe meeting up with friends or uh, going out and about on my own or going to the cinema and stuff like that. So, but it's nice uh, for me to have a watch so I can see what the time is rather than always relying on my phone uh, for the time. I also did get this uh, jumper as well. Now, what I normally do tend to do for those that are new around here, hold on, I'll show you the jumper. There we go. Um, so, and it's got like various zips. I think there's even there's even a zip um, in the arm bit as well. This is a zip for uh, one of the arms. So there we go. But uh, what I was gonna say is what I normally have done in the last. A uh, couple of years is anything like new clothing wise and stuff like that I always have tried it on and I have always shown you guys in the vlogs uh, how it looks on me so I am this year is going to be no different so uh, probably when the weekly vlogs come back in January uh, I'll probably do sort of like a little bit of modeling shall we say for the vlogs and i'll show you guys how things look on me because i have got a few t-shirts some trousers some jumpers and obviously it's nice for you guys to see how it looks on me um but i also did get as well a uh marvel oh i nearly hit myself in the face then a, <laughs> a marvel uh, duvet set as well actually I'll show you this side this is the side that you need to see so yeah so basically like the bed covers um, the duvet covers is basically like just filled with like Marvel comics on it uh, which is really awesome so they've they've got like Thor Spider-Man X-Men Hulk Iron Man uh, Silver Surfer um, I think Captain America is on there as well um, and then obviously you've got like the pillows as well which are red uh, but on the pillows it's just like the Marvel Comics character so like uh, Hulk and um, and Captain America and stuff and Spider-Man as well so so yeah so there we go so that I did get as well and I believe that I got from my sister um, I also did get now it wouldn't be Christmas would it it wouldn't be Christmas without a Lynx Africa um, um, like shower gel and, and deodorant and this year is no different so I did get a Lynx Africa um, gift set as well um, and also as well uh, what else did I get oh, I also got this jumper as well uh, now I really like this jumper I'll tell you why um, because on the jumper itself you've got like a collar which I quite is quite smart to be honest. So there we go. So I do quite like that. So I will, like I say, I will try it on in the vlogs when they return in January 2024 um, for you guys to see. Uh, also, as well, I did get a pile of socks right here. So they're like grey and black. So I did get those as well. And that is everything that I got in that bag there. So I'm going to put that bag over there. Um, there is a white box over here, which I'm going to bring over for you guys to see. Um, so in this uh, white box right here, I'm going to show you what's inside. Now, I've got to be very careful because what is inside here is actually quite breakable. But it's in bubble wrap as well. Um, so let me just undo the bubble wrap. like this so this here is a pint glass and I don't know if you can make out or not but it should come up uh, it's got the letter S and it's got my name Stephen uh, on it so that's my full name Stephen um, <laughs> but uh, yeah so I've got a nice little pint glass now I did actually get some alcohol to go with this as well I got some uh, brother's cider so I think what I'm going to do is probably tomorrow when this vlog goes out actually um, I'm probably gonna sit down and I'm gonna drink the cider in this glass um, what I might do is I might vlog it and I might stick it in like um, the vlog in the new year or something like when the weekly vlogs uh, come back or something so I'm just gonna wrap this back up but uh, yeah it is really nice though that I did get that which was uh, personalized 
Uh, so yeah, so that was really, really nice. So I'm going to stick that over there somewhere so it's nice and safe. Now, you're probably wondering, what on earth is this thing that is behind me? It's been here for like the entire nine minutes that I've been talking. And I'm now going to show you guys what it is. Um, so basically, what it is, is it is Marvel related because... I am a fan of Marvel, as you can tell by now. If you are new around here, you can probably tell that. I don't know. I'm getting a bit lost in here. Um, is this the is this the 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 hood bit? Yep, that's the hood bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've got to be careful, by the way, because like there's things around me, um, surrounding me, right now. Oh my god. Is this on the right way? I don't know. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. That took a lot of effort, didn't it? Um, but this is basically... You know, like, the hoodies that you get and stuff like that? Like, this is kind of like a, a warm Marvel blanket hoodie kind of thing because it literally it goes like all the way over my legs as well um and me being like six foot two uh or yeah six foot two so i'm quite tall um but it actually you know when i'm sat down cross my legs and stuff like that it goes over my knees um but yeah it honestly it does keep me nice and warm i did wear this admittedly um yesterday um, whilst we were in the middle of opening our presents and stuff. But eventually I ended up taking it off because I was getting really hot, especially when I was wearing uh, my Christmas jumper. So, but yeah, so honestly, so yeah, so this is keeping me nice and warm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to keep it on for the rest of this uh, part of the video um, and maybe for the rest of this vlog video uh as well maybe who knows but um yeah i really do like it though it's definitely going to keep me nice and warm um you know and at least now i don't have to just rely on like my um blanket that i've got like i've got a throw blanket over my gaming chair right now uh which i do tend to use sometimes to keep me warm as well as my dressing gown as well uh, which again i've got a nice warm dressing gown but you know to add this to my collection as well of like things that will keep me warm like i have warm pajamas that i normally wear as well so um and yeah my pajamas normally keep me nice and warm and toasty but uh to add this to my collection of warm toasty things that i can just wrap up in it's just amazing so there we go um but anyway also as well i did get some trousers as well so uh obviously i'll be wearing these when i'm out and about or like when i'm in work so uh i got stretched relaxed straight trousers black trousers here so there we go um so i will put those to one side and i also did get some chinos as well um so yeah so tree uh chino straight trousers these ones are in navy blue and the other ones that you just saw the straight uh, uh trousers just now uh they were in black so there we go so i'll put that over there um okay so i did also get a christmas card as well um so i'll just show you my christmas card that my mum uh kindly gave to me uh it says for an amazing son at christmas and it just says to Stephen, hope you have a brilliant uh, time with uh, lots and lots of love. Uh, Merry Christmas 2023 and a happy 2024. Lots of love from mum. So there we go. So that was really nice of her to do that Christmas card. I'm just going to leave. I don't know if that's going to stand. That may have to just go over there for now. Uh, okay. Um, now, can I just say, right, the, we, the, me and my sister had no idea that we were getting like a Santa sack or a stocking or anything like we honestly just thought it was just under the tree presents because for the last couple of years it literally has just been under the tree pretty much and that's it um but no this year we did end up getting surprised with these Santa sacks now obviously you have already seen this already in the montage but it's personalized as well so you got Santa and Rudolph and on top it says Merry Christmas and it's got my name at the bottom Merry Christmas Stephen um so yeah so there we go so I'm now just going to open this up and I'll grab what I can from it um so 
Uh, let me show you this. Um, so obviously I've got another jumper here. Grey one. And this one, what does this one say? It says global on it. So there we go. So yeah. So I got this uh, global jumper. Uh, when I can get it back up again. There we go. Um, so yeah. So I got that. Uh, what else did I get? Also as well, I did get these really nice looking t-shirts as well. Now I do love the colour of them, uh, of them. And they are also very, very smart looking as well. So that's the first one. I believe I got three of these. Um, so, and that's the second one as well. So again, re really, really smart looking shirts. Not going to lie. Again, like I say, the t-shirts and stuff. Um, I am going to show you, I think there is one more in here, is there one more? Yeah, this is the last one, and that's the third one, so I know it's in its bag right now, um, but I am going to try it on and show you guys in the vlog, um, like I say, later, uh, at the beginning of the new year. Uh, I also did get some more t-shirts as well, now in here there is a yellow one which you can see at the back. There's a grey t-shirt and in the middle, you can't really see it, but I can see it. It's like a sort of navy blue kind of colour t-shirt as well. Uh, it's by ja uh, Jack and Jones. Um, so I am going to, like I say, I'll show you me wearing these um, at a later date. Um, also as well, I did get some more socks as well, because I'm always needing socks. And I also did get, as well, um, this t-shirt, which, by the way, I really, really do love. Especially the colour and stuff. I think it would be really, really nice. Especially, like, in the summertime as well, when I get really hot and I'm walking along the beach or something. And, you know, I need to take my um, jumper off or something, if I'm wearing a jumper, because I'm always wearing jumpers. Um, then I can safely go, well, at least I've got a nice summer t-shirt on uh, underneath. So I did get that. Uh, also as well, I did get uh, some uh, pyjamas as well, which actually I might uh, I might wear these tonight, actually. Um, so there we go. It's just like a plain bluish kind of jumper uh, or long sleeve shirt, should I say? Not jumper, long sleeve shirt. Um, and I also did get some pyjama bottoms as well to go uh, with them. So they're matching. Uh, and I believe there's pockets in these, yeah. I do like, to be honest, I do like pyjama bottoms that do have, like, pockets in them. Because, uh, like, it just means, like, if I wasn't to get changed until, like, later on and I was to go downstairs or something, at least I can kind of take my phone and stick my phone in my pocket and my pyjama bottoms and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, also, as well, now, I have got, earlier this year, I my shaver ended up packing up on me, my facial shaver that I use to shave my face and obviously for my birthday this year my mum got me a shaver for my birthday it was actually an early birthday present obviously because at the time I needed a shaver and it was like in the middle of October or something it was just the beginning of October my shaver had packed up and my mum said well your birthday is coming up so you need a shaver and you do need to have a shave between now and your birthday so she kindly gave me a shaver for my birthday as an early birthday present but uh, for Christmas she got me another shaver and the reason why she got me another shaver is because if anything was to go wrong with the shaver that i've got now uh that i normally use to shave with then at least i've got this one as kind of like a backup uh for so yeah so i've always got a shaver um and then it just means that you know when if i do then start to use this shaver then it means that what I can then do is I can then uh, probably go out and buy another one so that if that one was to pack up, then I've got another one to rely on. That makes sense. Uh, so I did get that. Also as well, I got uh, some dairy milk milk trays as well, or well, Cadbury milk tray. Uh, so I got that as well. Uh, I also, this sack is starting to like drop on me now. I also got this M&M's and Friends as well. So there's a Mars Twix, uh, crispy M&M's and there's peanut M&M's in there as well. I also got um, a packet of peanut M&M's. 
as well. So I got a few snacks for Christmas, which is always, always handy. Uh, and also as well, again, going with the Marvel theme, I also got some Marvel PJ sets as well. Now, this is actually really nice and warm, to be honest. And like I said earlier, I do like wearing like warm pajamas because they do keep me toasty and warm especially in the winter so i know for a fact that this will definitely keep me nice and warm um so yeah so it's like plain pajama bottoms and then it's got like the marvel logo all over the all over the pajama top um so yeah so i really do like that one a lot um and then i also did get uh yeah so i also did get as well uh a grooming set as well so that basically i mean this isn't just a a facial shaver um but you also get so it's basically a hair trimmer beard trimmer sideburn trimmer it's also a nose ear hair trimmer as well and you can also use it as just a, a genuine shaver so and you also get accessories included so like the scissors um and like the charging uh kit and stuff like that you also get in there so yeah um so yeah so it's really really awesome uh, my mum just said that basically now i can just groom myself really like you know I, I know how to shave and stuff but like in terms of cutting my own hair and stuff like that i can do that my myself um so yeah so now i've got my own grooming set uh grooming kit which is awesome uh and then finally in here I have got a Lynx um, All Day Fresh Ice Chill 3-in-1 shower gel. So, again, I'm not going to be running out of shower gel anytime soon, I don't think. Probably for the next month, I'm going to have shower gel. So that was my Santa sack. Inside my, um, inside my stocking, which, again, by the way is personalized again similar got santa and rudolph on it. it says merry christmas and then my name's steven on it but this is what i got in the santa sack uh, in the santa stocking sorry uh i got some dairy milk uh chocolate bars so there's four bars in there so i will definitely be eating those uh i also got uh some l'oreal men expert magnesium defense 24 hour moisturizer hyperallergenic as well so I got that. I'm going to stick some of this around, just around here for the time being. Um, I also did get uh, some Lynx Ice Chill uh, deodorant as well. 48 hour high definition fragrance. So there we go. I think people are saying that I smell. Uh, um, <laughs> and also as well, I did get a, a key ring, a key ring torch as well, so I can put these on my uh, keys. But they do light up. I don't know if I can press the button and hold it. There we go. Um, boy, that's that's quite bright, isn't it? That is quite bright. Um, so and then there's the other one as well. So I've got one in like black and silver, and one completely in silver and it like i say it's very very bright um so there we go i do apologize if i've just blinded anyone uh watching this video with that light flashing into the camera lens um and then also as well i did get a l'oreal men expert pure carbon anti-blackhead daily face scrub as well because i do use face wash uh to uh, moisturize my face and stuff uh, and try and make it look as healthy as possible um so it reduces blackheads and uh, deeply cleanses the skin as well so i did get that uh and i also got um a pure carbon purifying daily face wash so it's five actions targeted and reduced purifying carbon so and that's by again l'oreal men expert i tend to use l'oreal men expert for like my face and stuff uh and then finally uh in here i also got a wallet as well which by the way has been uh personalized so basically on the front here I don't know how well it's going to come out on the camera. You could probably just about see it. Actually, you could probably see it now. But it says my name, my full name, Stephen. Um, and then on the inside, again, I don't know how well this is going to come out on the camera. But 
I can read it if possible or you guys can read it I don't know but it just says uh, Merry Christmas 2023 lots of love mum and I just think it's really nice to have like those kind of personalized sentimental kind of things uh, similar to the pint glass that I showed you guys a little bit earlier on uh, so yeah it's really nice that we uh, that I got that uh, for Christmas so I'm going to start using this wallet soon um, so there we go so that was my stocking and then the final things that i really wanted to show you now the first thing is from my sister and the other thing that i want to show you is from my sister's boyfriend um but this is the final couple of things that i want to show you guys uh so this is the first thing look how awesome this is now i am a big fan of of horror i don't know if you can tell um, but I'm a big fan of horror and I love the horror icon. So on here, uh, you have got Michael Myers, you've got Pennywise, Ghostface, uh, you've also got, uh, Freddy Krueger, uh, Jigsaw, Jason, and, and then at the very end is Chucky. Um, so I really do love that. Now I've got to go very careful with that because it is very, very thin. And the last thing I want is to break it. And then the very final thing that I did get for Christmas this year uh, is, and this is from my sister's boyfriend, is this. Uh, so basically it is the Avengers Infinity War uh, movie poster. And uh, basically it's got all the signatures from the actors and actresses uh, that starred in that movie. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So that is uh, really, really awesome. And honestly, I you should have seen my face when I opened this up because I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, so yeah, so honestly, I really do appreciate it. I am going to get this hung up on the wall and I'm going to get the horror icons hung up on the wall as well. So in the new year when my weekly vlogs do return. Don't at all be surprised if you see two new additions added to my bedroom wall. I'm probably going to add it onto this wall that I'm sat in front of right now. Um, but yeah, like I say, uh, aside from that, that is pretty much everything that I did get for Christmas this year from my family. And I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has very kindly gifted me things for Christmas. Like I said before, this isn't me bragging. This isn't me showing off or anything like that. This is just genuinely me just showing you guys how much I really do appreciate the gifts that I have been given uh, for Christmas this year. Um, but yeah, honestly, I really, really do appreciate all the money that has been spent on me for Christmas this year by family members. And I do appreciate all the gifts that they have given to me as well. So yeah, that is Christmas 2023. It is eight, uh, two minutes past eight at the time of recording this part of the uh, Vlogmas video, Vlogmas Day slash Boxing Day video on Boxing Day evening. Can I just say, it's literally just taken me, I've just filmed a video which is out now on my YouTube channel, Steve Official, which is the, um, the movie wrap up episode 10 video. Uh, so that video went up before this video came out. Uh, so if you've not yet checked that one out, feel free to check it out. But can I just say it's taken me ages to do it because I've had problems with Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And then obviously I've had... Uh, my memory card was full on my vlogging camera and then my battery ended up running out of charge so I went and grabbed another battery that battery wasn't charged up fully so that ended up running out of juice so now I'm currently filming this on my last battery that I've got for my vlogging camera so I need to basically charge up my batteries um, but yeah, I am just about to head downstairs though and have some dinner. So I thought I'd show you guys what I've got for dinner this evening. Let's go and find out what I've got. For dinner tonight, I have got some party food. So I've got some Asian inspired food here. And I've also got some hot dogs and mini burgers. Right, it is Boxing Day night. The time is just gone 10 o'clock. I'm going to get my shoes on, my coat on, and I'm going to take Simba out for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. And then I'm going to jump in the bathroom and have a shower and get into my pyjamas. 
And just get myself ready for another fun-filled day tomorrow. I am back at work again tomorrow, uh, so I need to get my uh, work uniform all together and stuff like that, as well as make another flask of tea before I head off to bed as well. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this Vlogmas series for 2023. I know it is all over. It's Chover, as some people will say. Um, <laughs> but I do want to say, though, a massive thank you from me to you guys who have this year in 2023 supported my YouTube channel, regardless whether it's a TV wrap up episode, a movie wrap up episode, or just in general, a weekly vlog or a Vlogmas episode. Anything that you guys have watched, which I have spoken about in a video, I really, really do appreciate it a lot. And I really do appreciate uh, the loyal support that I get from my amazing followers uh, that are out there. Um, of course, 2024, I am going to be back with more uh, weekly vlogs for you guys to enjoy. Um, and we are going to try our best and get out and do a lot more fun stuff as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what 2024 has in store for us. Um, now, uh, if you're wondering when I'm next going to be uploading a weekly vlog, I'm going to confirm the date for you right now. So the date that I'm going to be next uploading another weekly vlog will be on uh, Monday, the 22nd of January, 2024, at 4 p.m. UK time. I've decided that I'm going to give myself a couple of weeks break from filming on YouTube. There is going to be a video out on Friday, the 5th of January, 2024, which will be a movie wrap up episode. Um, and that will be the last video that you guys will see uh, for a couple of weeks until I'm back on the 22nd of January, 2024 when the weekly vlogs will start up and then hopefully by the end of January I'll have another episode of Steve's movie wrap up coming up for you guys to enjoy as well okay so that is all left for me to say in 2023 thank you for watching wherever you are in the world whatever time of day it has been and whichever part of the house that you guys have sat in to enjoy my content whether it's in your bed on the living room sofa or even on the toilet thank you really appreciate it anyway uh, i will be back with weekly vlogs from the 22nd of january 2024 please do join me for them they'll be from 4 p.m uk time uh here on my youtube channel steve official like i say movie wrap up episode 11 coming at 4 p.m. on Friday the 5th of January but if you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below have you guys enjoyed Christmas this year I'd love to hear from you as always keep it positive keep it clean and keep it friendly and if you are new around here and you like what you see and you're looking forward to see more of my content in 2024, then as ever, hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel to become a Stevo. So, goodbye 2023. I'm going to leave now and I'm going to go and enter 2024. See you later all. Bye bye.